what's up guys it's osiris welcome to a brand new video in this acoustica series in this video we'll be taking a look at basic audio manipulation and editing and we'll be taking a look at things like volume cutting fading reversing silence regions and labels let's get right into this so i'm going to load in this audio here this is a podcast i recorded for somebody and let's listen to this quickly so we have some silence here for the audio please hi my name is tem this is episode three of creative rights who owns what a podcast series from larry Scott. so i'm going to move my cursor over to the end so we can listen to the end of the recording let's drag this bar here and let's listen to that okay nobody owns the right to this thing nobody's going to complain to me about using this thing at the beginning or anything so make sure that you have someone that actually understands your industry to an extent so yeah, this is the audio recording we'll be working with today. So you can move um, your cursor around by clicking this bar here. This is a mono recording, so you don't need to worry about clicking within the right and left channel. We'll talk about that in another video where you can select your right or your left channel depending on what you want to edit. But for this video, we'll be looking at audio editing and manipulation. So I'll highlight this video and the first thing we might want to do is normalize this audio. So I'll go to volume, normalize. So what normalization is, is bringing your levels to a particular amount of decibels, which is usually zero decibels. So um, this targets LUFS and this takes it to minus 23 LUFS. Let's see true peak. And this can bring it to zero dB. Sample peak. So if we put true peak, we can bring this to zero dB. But let's try the default LUFS option. I'm going to click process. And this increases the volume of our audio. So let's try out the DB option. Click normalize. Let's select true peak. Just going to bring this up to 0 DB. Let's process this. So this will take some time and it's going to bring the highest peak to zero. So we have the highest peak here and it brings it up to zero. So the idea behind normalization is to get your audio as loud as possible without distorting any part of your audio. So let's listen to this. Something in a fixed form. So the law of um, content, like I've mentioned in previous episodes, is... So let's take a look at how you can cut, copy and paste audio. So let's go back to the beginning of this recording. I'm going to zoom over to this place. I'll highlight this and I can go to edit and delete. So I can delete that section. Or I can use my delete key to delete that section. So another thing you can do is copy this section by using control C, pasting, putting your cursor here and pasting that section with control V. Or just copying this section and let's use the edit tool to copy this. I'm going to put the cursor here and let's go back to edit, then paste this section. So, another thing you can do is overwrite a section. So, I'll copy this whole section here. Let's go to edit, copy, and let's copy this. And I'm going to click overwrite, paste. So, this instead of inserting the or we copied it's going to overwrite this section here so hi my name is that's how you work with copy paste insert and overwrite so another thing you might want to do is insert silence at some point so if i want to insert more silence around this point it's fashion and entertainment i'll place my cursor here and go to tools insert silence so i can select the amount of silence i want to insert I'm going to select five seconds and click OK. And this should insert five seconds of silence here. It's culture, art, fashion, and entertainment. Episode three is going So that's how you insert silence in your audio recording. So another thing you can do is increase the volume of some particular section. So this part of the recording is quite loud, but this part is not as loud as this. So I can select this. And go to volume and i can click on the volume and just give this three decibels of gain 
process and that increases the volume. I can also reduce the volume, go to volume and reduce this by minus six decibels and that reduces the volume. So let's listen to that. In um, the industry with content. So I'm going to reduce that a little more volume and let's reduce the volume by minus 20. So let's listen to this. In um, the industry with content. So that's one thing you might want to do. Reduce or increase the volume of your track or a particular section. So let's look at other tools we have here. We have the fade in and fade out. So I'm going to delete this section of the recording. Then I'm going to insert a little silence before this. Set three seconds of silence. Then I'm going to fade this part of the recording in. So volume, quick fading. So this fades in. So let's listen to that. Hi, my name is Tem. This is episode three of Create. So that goes from low to high volume. So let's look at the fading option itself. So fade, you can adjust the fade curve here. You can adjust the range. You can select the type of fade you want, whether you want it to be linear or exponential or logarithmic. And let's try this process. Let's go back to volume fade. Let's try out the linear fade. Let's preview this. Hi, my name is Tem. This is episode three of Creative Rights Who Owns Let's process this and can fit this in more. Let's process this and we have a nice volume fade here. Let's listen to this. Hi, my name is Tem. This is episode three of Creative Rights Who Owns What, a podcast series from Larry's Cafe. Larry's Cafe. So we can do the same thing with the fade out option let's zoom here and i guess the summary of this episode is protect yourself so let's uh highlight this and i'm just going to fade this out so quick fade out and we have a nice fade out here in the poetry like at the beginning or anything so make sure that you have someone that actually understands your industry to an extent so you can also increase your highlights range by dragging it right here. And you can drag a section you are highlighted to another section like that. So let's fade this out. Volume, fade, it's select, fade out here. Let's use this algorithm. I don't know what this means, but let's try it out. So let's try out something else fade let's use exponential let's reduce this process and we have this inside the poetry like at the beginning or anything so make sure that you have someone that so nice we have a good fade out there so that's how you fade audio another thing you might want to look at is how to reverse um audio so i have this section of the audio here hi my name is tem this is episode three of creative rights hi my name is tem so to reverse this audio clip you want to go to effects and reverse so we have so that's how to reverse audio yeah so that's the basics of editing and audio manipulation in acoustica in the next video we'll be taking a look at regions and labels i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something new from this if you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can purchase Acoustica from the link in the description below. And yeah, if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.